Hi everybody, I'm Damian Andrew and welcome to this DAF media special. Pickleball is booming all over the country. Courts are popping up everywhere, including Darien. Thanks to a campaign involving a handful of residents, Parks and Rec, local government, and the Darien Athletic Foundation, the town now has four pickleball courts at Cherry Lawn Park to call their own. Pickleball is easy to play for most people, and it's fun, and it's very social. So people take to it, and players from different levels can easily play with each other and have a good time. About six years ago, I went to the Jersey Shore. Friends of ours were playing pickleball, and I thought, what a great game this was. So I called up the park and rec director, Pam Geary, here in town, and uh, asked about if we could get them in our courts. I was aware of pickleball um, being in the parks and recreation industry, um, but here in Darien we didn't have pickleball courts. So what we did was at the tennis court at Cherry Lawn, we painted the tennis court, the top tennis court, with just lines. Come 2020, um, the need to play pickleball, people wanting to get outside in our parks was crazy, as you know. Um, and so we took down the nets on that single tennis court at Cherry Lawn and we put up two portable pickleball nets so that two courts could be played on. It got so popular that the courts were booked all the time. So more and more people were playing. There was only two courts available with the painted tennis lines. We were competing with the tennis players. So uh, a bunch of us got together and said, listen, we need to make six uh, or four permanent pickleball courts. So he suggested that he would be willing to fundraise in the community to raise the funds to build the court. Um, and he asked the commission. The commission thought that that was an, a very wonderful suggestion and um, approved that. It was $45,000. And this was a bit more than they had expected, but the team that he was working with, which was the Valley and Patty Bumgartner, himself, the Steve, our, our pickleball instructor, and they spread the news. And within three months, they had the funding. And at that point, we started working with the vendor and he got started. You know, we were approached by two town residents, uh, Patty Baumgartner and Valley Baker. So when they approached us, they had pretty much started their fundraising, which was t it was really amazing. Their efforts were tremendous, and they just needed a little help to get them over the finish line. So uh, naturally, they you know approached us, and it, for us, it was just a no-brainer. We love doing things with the town. They're a great improvement to our park, and I can only thank all those that were involved to raise the fund and how generous their time was and their ability to save the taxpayers some money and uh, put together something that these pickleball players have been wanting for a long time. This DAF Media Special was produced by high school senior interns Mackenzie O'Shea, Sarah Bogdan, Ted Brennan, and Trey Cahill. That'll do it. Thanks for watching and enjoy your summer.